I got signed to a record deal to play solo piano music. And I was always afraid that uh, because I got signed by this company, Wyndham Hill, that if I, if I made it too atmospheric and had like, you know, bird sounds or oceans, you know, and it was like, you know, on the album, that everybody would say, oh, he's that guy, you know, and uh, that they'd be like, he's like the sandals and candles guy, you know, or something. So um, I was very careful to, um, to infuse a lot of my pop songwriting because for many years, I was a jingle writer. I used to write songs for Kitty Litter and Toilet Bowl Cleaner and Soda Pop and all kinds of songs for, uh, for advertising. And so I really was a songwriter and in many ways still think of myself as a songwriter. So when I approached the, the record company and said, you know, I want to put singing on my solo piano album, they, um, they, they weren't really very happy about it because they said, you know, you know, you're supposed to just play the piano, you know, we don't want some country singer. And uh, I said, well, I'm gonna tell you, you don't always know when a song is gonna be a hit, but when I wrote it, I thought, it's, it's, it's right, it's the right thing. It was an intuitive feeling. And when I heard Martina sing for the first time, I just thought, yeah, this is it. I'm gonna sing it for you. I sang it the other day in concert and after the show somebody said oh you sounded so good singing valentine i like it when the girl sings it better but you sounded really good <laughs> still feel for you and even if the sun refused to shine even if romance ran out of rhyme well I would give you my heart until the end of time you're all I need my love my I would give you my heart until the end of time. 